Welcome back to the lineup review and today I'm with Ryben and he's going to be telling me all about the Athena class so please go ahead. Well I've come a long way since this one but I figured that as cynical as it sounds I may as well get a little bit of publicity on the ship that I initially joined the server with. Plus I just gave this one away on my channel so you know. Cool. I'll, I'll make Shameless sure. Channel plug. No, it's fine. I'll make sure there's a link to it because people will ask. So I'll make sure there's a link to it in the description. Alright. Sounds good. And if you can see me, we're still enemies, by the way, after trying to test the turret thing. Do we want to fix that? Or... Ah, it's frenemies, <laughs> man. Frenemies. Frenemies, alright. If you can see where I'm at, we go ahead and take a quick look at, around it. Um, she was the. First big ship I ever made. First ship over, you know, 200 meters. The ships before this are not worth looking at ever. Um, you you actually saw the little destroyer that I made. That was pretty much the precursor to this. Yeah, it's got and, a solid style to it, mate. Are you going to open the door on the left or the right? Uh, the one on the left. There we go. It's open and we'll. Jump on out and get rid of that core. Yeah. So the obligatory airlock. Grab gravity because it helps in this ship. <laughs> and welcome aboard the Got. Athena. Now that's a much nicer interior than I've been seeing yet. Very nice, at least having <laughs> some furniture. Yeah, got a little bit here. Um, just a few tables and chairs. Are, yeah, this yeah. is sort of the conference room or meeting room or mess hall, I guess. Yeah. Um, I figure what we'll do is we'll... And my little mech statue, I was actually planning to hook up the uh, the AMCs there to a yeah. separate weapons computer so I could just start firing on everybody in here for no reason. Thought that would be kind of funny, but yeah. So we'll go ahead and hit <laughs> up engineering. Mind you, remember this is a old ship, so disclaimer. But we've got the um, these were the pineapple generators that I saw nice. in the videos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I did that as if they were the actual generators. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah, the generators on this thing are a lot bigger. <laughs> Um, and then we've got, it's mirrored on the other side, but in here is engineering, so you got your plex storage and, I don't know, just kind of threw it together. Nah, you really just cool. look like you were skating across the table. I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're a skater, so. Yep. We'll go right on up here. And I think the first place... See, I haven't even been in this ship in forever, but we'll go ahead and pop <laughs> up, up over here. Because um, I'm really proud of the med bay, but we'll hit up the crew quarters first. Because, why not? With an obligatory stop by the bathroom. <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> Toilets. If you need to go, go now. It's going to be a... <laughs> She's a big ship. <laughs> yeah, we'll go right on down here. Uh, crew quarters, it holds, I think, 32 crew is what I did. Nice. Actually, I actually like how the lighting turned out in here. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, there's all those little uh, corner block glitches right here, which is really annoying. Mm. There is a block there for the record, it's just we can see through it. Yeah, it's annoying. No, uh, it's next all one early days. It'll be fine. Yep, the next one down is mirrored, so we'll just skip that. Cool. But the med bay is where I'm really happy. The, originally, the med bay was actually going to be um, this way. Uh, a mirror at the top. Um, and you'll see what I mean. It was originally going to have a big old window, but it doesn't because it, it looked weird. But here is the med bay, and as an ex-combat medic, I wanted to really deck my deck this thing out. 
So I did. I like how you put thought in, like, there's little computers next to each bed. Storage. Oh, yeah. It's very nice. Just wait until you see across the hall. This is... This is the nice one. The operating room. Nice. Got uh, hanging lights as IV poles. <laughs> Proper theater, film theater. Yeah. I mean, Scalpel. you can do whatever you <laughs> Right? See, the thing is, uh, if you look on the sides, I put flex storage there. Like for, uh, as if it were either for instruments or if it were for, uh, uh, what am I thinking? Sterile processing. That's the one. Having one of those days, man. <laughs> it's really nice. I like the thought you put into it. What's next on the uh, list to see? Next is to go up and hit the calf. Cool. Because the calf is, or the galley is always important, you know. Food oh, it's the heart food. of the ship. It re in this case, it really is. <laughs> and you're going to see exactly what I mean. And if you notice all the uh, sides, like right here, really quick, they're all, it's all color coded. Yep. So red is to the med bay, green is to, yeah. Or yellow or whatever. <laughs> Purple, because I knew it would be where you'd want to hang out, is the, uh, is the cafeteria. Nice. <laughs> and this is where you get a really nice view. Well, the streams are up here, so yeah. Yep, I, I figured you'd get a kick out of that too. But if you, you look out, you can see the, I guess, air uh, spacecraft, you'd be able to see them landing and everything in the hangars. Very cool, mate, very cool. Yep, I'm happy with it. Um, I'm not sure if we should hit up the hangars or the bridge next. Let's go with the hangars. Cool. I think I think that'll work better, because then then in the bridge you can do the cruise around thing. Oh yeah yeah. Because you know, that's important. <laughs> uh I think it's gonna be this hangar is the one we want. I love how it's all it's not so long distance really to walk because of the way it's centralized. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was happy with how that turned out. Yeah, so down here. This is where my AMHs are. Oh, that mech. <laughs> it's like Ed 209. Actually, if you come with me really quickly and you look on the left side, you can see all the uh, the engineering stations for everything. Dude! But if you look, can you see the very front one? Because the very front one, dude, there's like eight of them. Oh, there's one for me here? Oh, wait yeah. a minute. Now, do you remember your uh, repair ship? The one yeah. that I stuck in there? I think so. That mech? That's this mech. Oh no, I never but blueprinted it I or meant, anything. I meant to have it here so that you could see how you can to mushroom out the, of the uh, uh, labeling on the one. Mushroom, and mushroom mech. And change the it's color a mushroom and mech. I love it. <laughs> yep. I, I'm guessing you've lost the blueprint in the uh, shuffle at this point, but yeah. Feel free to take it. There's a mushroom on the back for you, even. Launches out pretty well and everything, so. Today was a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Today was a good day. Tamino got his mushroom mech. Yeah, it's got two dumb fires and a few AMC on the sides. Yeah, uh, if you use the docking beam on that front and take it out, it's actually a pretty cool ride. I think the door's open. Yeah, it's open. You're good. It's just a little bit laggy because unfortunately when I built these, it was a little bit small. Like, the uh, hangers themselves were actually a little bit small. You've got the point defense turrets to keep you That's alive awesome. as you come in. Yeah, yeah, I see the little keep turrets, yeah. The bottom. And then if you look, I don't know if you can see where I'm at. If you look over here, they're what I 
considered at the time to be sniper turrets on the sides right here. Kind of blended in. But these are semi-sniper turrets, just really big AMCRAs. Not super big, but bigger than <laughs> any, you know, turrets that I made. What you would normally use, yeah. Yeah, and then on the tops there, and bottoms there are missile turrets. Because, why not? <laughs> Uh, it's mirrored below. <laughs> oh yeah, I see. I lo it looks like you're moonwalking <laughs> on my screen right now. It's kind of tricky to get those in though. Actually, the way I usually do it is flying forward and then down a little bit until you get to the, until you can hit the docking beam on there. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's try docking it then. Yeah. They fit. They just barely fit. Unfortunately, I didn't didn't think of it very well at the time. You know. Are you clear? I think you're looking directly at the arrows that I put in. Okay. That works too. <laughs> it's just upside down on my screen. I wish I was recording too, because that would be great. Docking like a boss. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's, it looks like we go yeah, check out the bridge. Yeah. We, we never checked the bridge out, I think. I think there was a call room or something. Yep. What did we miss? Was it the bridge? Just the bridge. I'm and paying while attention. while you're in there... Make, yeah, right. While you're in there, definitely fly over to the other hangar. This is Alpha Hangar. Below us is Charlie Hangar. Actually... We can do this really quick just as a demonstration. But uh, if you take yourself out of gravity and go through this hole, you'll see there's another hangar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't put anything in here in the interest of lag. <laughs> it's very fast. More entities are not needed. <laughs> um, and then, you just cruise on down here. But make sure you check out the other side hangar, because there's a few prototype fighters, including what the AMH-02 was based off of, which was actually a light fighter. Strangely. And just a gravity-type elevator to get up. Yep. And the bridge. getting very nice very nice i like the big view screen that's cool yeah i figured they'd be like uh air traffic control for each hangar on the sides and the front would be weapons or something that's cool i man. even put a bobby ai in here because i wanted to really screw with some people at one point <laughs> <laughs> you know usual but feel free to jump in the core fire off the weapons or whatever you want to do she has a decent cannon in there but it's an old shotgun build cannon, so power is kind of a problem. So there are the stats up on the screen right there. It's 30,000 mass, 325 long, 82 high, 191 wide. It's got 14 million power with 1.3 million per second recharge, 82,541 thrust. Turning speed is X 1.1, Y 1.1, and Z 1.0. And it has 492,000 shields, 13.7 thousand uh, shields per second recharge. Recovery 3. Yeah, stats are kind of low, but I really didn't it's know how to do... It's an old ship. Well, yeah, and it, I didn't know how to do efficient power building at the time. Does anybody? So oh, oh, yeah. But, you know, I mean, compared to something like, even the Naviri has 500,000 shields and, you know, 1.4, uh, I think, million recharge and alcohol. I mean, it's, it's vastly superior, but then again, I've, I've learned a lot since then, too. But yeah, so this is the... Uh, the Athena, if you jump in the core again, right, I'd so say, you go check out the prototype fighters I'd on say, the left hand side in the hangar. Right now I'm saying best bridge of lineup, so 
Well, thank you. Yeah, no I, dispute. I I've gotten, I've gotten some good comments out of this. I kind of like, um, I really wish that, you know, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to redo something like this where it has this drop down thing. Yeah, like that's a cool. That's all. a that's a cool concept actually. I'm thinking about that myself. You know, it's a tidy way of doing. Did you use like decorative blocks for it or? No, those are my missile computers. It has uh, two oh, right. uh, arrays of uh, SDBBs, four on either side on the just on the inside edge of the edges of the hangars, and it's got a uh, large AMC array uh, on the nose on that little protruding part at the front. Got you. So yeah, yeah, I was happy with it. Not bad for my first build, and I'm finally getting it done because I decided, you know what? I I've got you. I've got you this time. You have to do it. <laughs> no problem, mate. <laughs> so again, what was the name of the ship? The EFSF Athena Mark V. And for everybody that didn't read the description or didn't know who you are, what's your name? I am Raven. And then they know how to say it too. So thanks for joining me. <laughs> yeah, and thank you for having me. Hey, anytime, mate. And I can't wait to see the next one, which I'm sure will be very soon. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time.